Access memory bank. Circuit activated. Execute digital transfer. We are controlling transmission. Leave now before the exits are sealed. Our mission is about to begin. So please, fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff. Yo, yeah, y'all know what time it is. Everybody, you are listening to Kiss My Keister with Joe Riggio and Katie O'Neill. Thanks for coming back again this week. What are you talking about? I'm always here. Well, you have to be here. You don't have a choice. I know, and this is why I enjoy it. It's my <laughs> therapy. It's your therapy? Oh, if only I had the same therapy. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is your show. This is your therapy. No, this is what makes me need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Now we know. Never mind. Yeah, this is this is not the same thing. So, no. So, what what's going on in your world today? Well, let, let's just talk about the big thing that everyone's worried about right now with the whole voting. That's everyone's stress pet peeve today. Uh, well, it may be, and that'll show you how far or how long ago we recorded this. So. <laughs> it's true, but it's still something that we always like to talk about. What happened on the way to the forum type of scenario. But. Well, that is definitely a what happened on the way to the forum. Uh, and I have said repeatedly that the world you went to bed in the night before the election is not going to be the same world you woke up in. Yeah. So y'all best be bracing yourselves. Actually, to tell you the truth, it was so funny is... Um, I was on a Zoom call today with networking, and I had a bunch of people in there saying, I was up to 3.30 in the morning watching. And I'm like, you're up to 3.30 watching? I'm like, I was in bed. But the thing is, they were like, aren't you worried? I'm like, no, I'm not really worried about either way. I don't really care at this point in time. I'm worried about my clients mm -hmm. and how they're stressing me out right now. Because and they're I, all worried about their money. Yeah, and now I'm trying to figure out how to help them, and I'm trying to get myself to bed and sleep. And well, here's a benefit. Due to the election, I got a call from Florida Blue. Guess what? I got insurance. And it was so simple. They just offered it, asked me how much I made, and gave me my policy. Don't you find that interesting, considering that health marketplace wouldn't help me at all? So wait, back up here. So Florida Blue called you off the blue? They called me. I have not received that call. Florida Blue, if you're hearing this, please call me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'll am i give you my person's name and number, and you two can have a little chat. How's that? I appreciate that, because I am I know the marketplace is open now, and mm -hmm. that's the big thing, and obviously we yep. go through the approval process, and then the benefits start in January. Well, you know, that's another pet peeve of mine. Florida Marketplace pissed me off last month. Bad idea. Wrong thing to do, because you know me. I'm going to react. So I basically told him to kiss where the sun don't shine and it don't mean my elbow. So needless to say, my insurance got canceled. Well, you're not going to be able to get insurance again. Why? Well, you have pre-existing conditions and they're not going to insure you. You know you're going to lose your insurance if you do this. Yeah. And your point is? I kind of get the feeling that I'm not the only one who did that. Mm -hmm. So Florida Blue, who is their broker, started calling 
And I got a feeling that they're going to do something. So my insurance was exactly what I wanted. It was exactly what I asked for. And I didn't have any hassle signing up. It took me all of about 15 minutes, all forms included. Now, when does it start for you? It already has. Oh, see, you, there you go. Bada bing. You're done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Not that I'm prying too much, but was it more or less than what you made? Oh, Or more mu- or less what you paid? Much less. That's even better. And it was what you wanted. And it was. And I'm I'm very impressed that they did that for me. Yeah. Um, I dealt with the marketplace a couple months ago, and I dealt with a friend that deals health insurance brokerage. Mm-hmm. And they basically helped me through the process of putting my order in and all this other stuff through healthcare market. And basically, they kept coming back every five days. I need more I need information. This. Uh-huh. I need more I'm, information. Exactly. And, and that's what did it for me. And I kept giving all the information they wanted and it kept coming back. And I'm like, at this point, I might as well just wait until open enrollment. Mm-hmm. And I got an email just the other day saying, hey, look, open enrollment. You can now apply. Yep. And I will be more than happy to hook you up with my gal. Yes. So I would love to talk to them and see what they can do for me. Yeah. That's, you know, a major pet peeve of mine. You ask me for information. I get you information. 60 days later, you call me back and go, I don't have your information. Yes, you do. I sent it on such and such date. Yes, you have it. Well, it's not here in your file. We have no record of that. Well, incompetence is not something that I cater to. But you know what? I think this brings on a different point. Okay, let's go on this. Is we oh, God, ta- don't play the devil's advocate for that. Oh, no, I'm not playing devil's advocate. I'm going even down the dirtier road here oh. if you want to. Or basically, okay, I, like that. I, I feel that some people are not doing their job 100% or they don't know how to do their job. And if they don't know how to do their job, you have two options. Either get the training and ask where you need to do and say, I'm sorry, I'll get the information and get it to you as soon as possible. Or concede and go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. One of the two options. So long story short, I'm not giving out the name of the company. But my parent, father, uh, basically had to go not once, not twice, but four times Mm -hmm. to a loan company that kept saying they needed more information. And my dad's like, I've given you all the information you've required. What more do you need? Well, we need this. I already gave that to you. This is in this file. Well, we don't have it. So why is it four times now You've already given the same information over and over. If you can't do the loan and you can't have the information, you shouldn't be doing this job. Absolutely. Why are you bothering me? Yeah. It's at this point, it's just like, you need to be out of business and let the professionals do this. They need to govern the calls that go out. And I think that boiler rooms should become a thing of the past. Mm-hmm. Having worked in them, I can tell you how stressful they are. And how horrible it is to have to be in a boiler room. Because if they don't hang up on you, they're going to give you a piece of their mind. And then you go home and you feel really crappy about yourself. You feel crappy about the job you do. But yet you have no choice. So now they're robo-dialing where they don't have to put anybody to the phone unless you answer. Exactly. And I hate those. I think everyone in America hates them, and I know in, I believe, certain states, if not all of them, it is against the law to have certain robo-dialers dialing all the time and all this other stuff, so just saying. here's, here's my aggravation with that, my pet peeve. They call you, you answer, they hung up. There's nobody there. And that can happen multiple times during the day. Now, the sad part about that is I run a business. I don't have time to be answering your phone calls if you're going to hang up on me and not tell me who you are and what you want. Wait, isn't that what they're doing during the election right now with all the robocallers? I have I have had <laughs> so many text messages from convention people that it, it's like one of them sent me a response Day before yesterday, wanted to make sure that I voted for a particular character. Well, I texted back the word stop, and that's what they're supposed to do. So when I got the next one, I texted back stop. I already voted. Now, oddly enough, I 
haven't heard anything else since. <laughs> now, see, you're a better person than I. I just go on my iPhone. I just go block caller, block caller, block caller. And then I yeah, just Yeah, but do you delete. realize how many of those block callers you're going to have before it's all over? Oh, I know. But I don't care because I won't see it because it's been blocked. <laughs> it's a great thing. Especially <coughs> where I've actually had um, a good uh, family member of mine. I don't know how, but somehow I got added into this group text chat and it was like, over 60 people. Yeah. I don't know how. And one person, that whole 60, just kept spamming the group, spamming. And every day I got the same text. I'm like, this is done. So I figured out what phone number it was. And then I just blocked that number and I never had a spam. And then, of course, as he's spamming the other people, now I have the other people on the thing saying, stop it, stop it. Now it's dinging up a mine. So I just went down the whole list and just blocked everyone, mm -hmm. except for my family member. I said, you're the only one that's not getting blocked. Everyone else is gone. I can't do that because I have too many clients who call me. Well, there's a difference. As long as they're not spamming you and not doing anything on the text message, you're fine. If they are the these random people, I mean random people. I don't know how I got on this group chat. That's a totally different block, 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 done. I wasn't done. So you didn't have enough of robo calling that you had to go join a chat group? No, no, I don't, once again, I don't know how I got put on this group chat, but it just happened, and it was just like almost like a robocaller, spam, 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 and I'm like, I'm done, I'm you done. You got spammed into joining, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> somehow, <laughs> and somehow. I still don't know how that happened in any shape or form. <laughs> it's amazing, I can't believe that happened. But anyway, um, that's a little bit of what we talk about here on Kiss My Keister, is we talk about pet peeves, right Katie? Oh, and we have so many to choose from. <laughs> we do, and we want to thank everyone that's uh, already submitted some KMK forms to us that we can talk about this evening, as or as well as other shows too. Absolutely, go to the KMK uh, Connect tab go under more on societybytesradio.com and that is b-y-t-e-s click on the more tab go to kmk and leave us your pet peeve who knows you might end up on our show and we can't wait because we'll love to get you on our show oh yeah we'll tear that pet peeve apart <laughs> and if you're a really good person and do this for us who knows we might ask you to be a guest on our show someday Oh, yeah. And guests are always clamoring to get on our show, as you probably heard from our previous guests. And we've already had some of them already asking to come back. Well, and out of the guests that we've had, we have a new co-host that's going to join us a couple of Thursdays a month, Nicole Lopez. If you all didn't get a chance to hear her on our last week's show, she will be on our next week's show. So you be, you be sure and tune in. She's quite the character. Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> I... And if you go to Facebook... Like and share, as always. And subscribe. Don't forget subscribe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget <laughs> to do that. Exactly. So, Kate, let's let's start this off right, because uh, as always, I brought my pod decks here uh, from poddecks.com, which we're going to give a little shout out. All right. Why don't you hang on to that thought? We've got to pause for a station identification, and we will be back in a little while. When you leave the house, do you have your swanky on? When was the last time you made a purchase that made you feel so special? Be Swanky is more than a purse. It's an attitude. Need a backpack? Be Swanky transforms effortlessly for convenient wearing. Be Swanky's each one a unique, limited, handcrafted work of art by artisan women valued for their contributions. To purchase a Be Swanky is to contribute to the betterment of women and select charities. Be the difference. Be swanky. Be swanky.com. And we are back. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, everybody. I love it when a plan comes thank together. Thank you. Thank you. I know I'm warm and welcome. I really deserve this. <laughs> Oh, you deserve something, all right, but I don't know if it's applause. Well, uh, hey, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of the pod deck. I'm going to do it right wait. now. Wait, wait. I was my turn, but go ahead. I'll let you. That's a pet peeve. You went ahead of me. <laughs> well, you got you got to claim dibs. I'm sorry. All right, dibs next time. Next time. If everything in your house had to be done what color, what color would you use? 
Oh, that's simple. I would just do the modern feel and do a light gray throughout the whole thing because it's a monotone. It's very calming and relaxing, and you don't have bright colors brightening your face, and you'll have dark colors making everything else. Boring. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. <laughs>